but yeah, welcome to Stoke City. Um, how much are you looking forward to this chapter of your career? No, uh, it's very nice to be here. Um, proud to be here, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to to play for Stoke and um, yeah, uh, for the fans. Uh, that will be very great. Um, didn't play for any fans last year, so that's a positive thing uh, to to do this season. So I'm really looking forward to that. When did you become aware of Stoke's interest, and how difficult a decision was it for you to make? Oh, I heard uh, something about that in the summer, uh, so I had to think about it. And of course, uh, you had uh, some options, uh, and I could uh, also stay in Brighton. But um, yeah, uh, Stoke is a big club, and uh, they have a good team, and um, yeah, fighting to to go up to the Premier League. So uh, for me, that's. Uh, that's a good step, uh, and uh, of course, it's, it's never easy to to um, leave club like uh, clubs like uh, San Pauli and, and Coventry, where I was last season. So it's just um, the um, the life you <laughs> you live now, and, and of course, uh, I I just try to do my best wherever I am, and yeah, now I'm gonna do my best for Stoke, and and that's what uh, what I'm yeah have have the focus on. Were you not tempted to stay at Brighton and try and force your way into Graham Potter's team down there? Um, of course, you, you could uh, do that. You had the chance to do that. Uh, but for me, it's very important to play as many games as I as I can. And uh, I feel, uh, yeah, it's a very good step for me to to play another season in Championship uh, for uh, for Stoke now. And and uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's, it's always like a it's a hard choice to maybe you sometimes have to take the risk and stay in Brighton, uh, but uh, right now in my my age, I, I just want to play as many games as I can, and that has been the case for the last two three years for me now. So so um, I just love to play games, and, and that's my main thing. You mentioned the spell you had with Coventry. How did you find life in the Championship? No, I really liked it. Uh, it was a good season last season. Um, Enjoyed to to play in the championship and um, yeah, uh, was uh, really happy in, in Coventry. Um, uh, nice guys there and, and uh, yeah, we did well until the end of the season. So it was a massive season for Coventry. Uh, so uh, a great experience for me and uh, yeah, um, just very very nice to play in the championship. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I read an article whereby. You uh, told Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the age of 16 that you should be in Molder's first team. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, I was uh, yeah, 16 years at that time, I think. Uh, I was playing for the, for the second team um, and we did well there. Uh, won the cup for under-19 uh, two years uh, in a row and I just uh, was pushing to, to go into the first team and then I was uh, going to the office uh, and knocking on his door and uh, asking him, like, uh, I'm going to have a chance to, to train with you now, uh, the first team, and, and maybe play some games. Um, and I was just very honest. Uh, I was sitting in one sofa and then uh, I had <laughs> assistant uh, coach on one sofa and then Ole Gunnar was sitting in the other sofa. So, so uh, I just uh, have always been very honest and uh, once that people is uh, honest with me and uh, told him exactly what I wanted and, and uh, asked him for a plan. So I think he, he liked that. Um, uh, he has said that to me after that. He, he really liked that, uh, that I just went to his office and, and, and want to talk to him. Uh, and it's, it's not all people who do that uh, at that age but for me it's just uh, I'm not afraid for that and uh, that's maybe my personality uh, to don't be afraid for uh, of anything. I was going to say that that suggests to me you're not short on confidence. No of course uh, if I haven't had confidence I will uh, stop playing football. I'm confident that I'm I'm going to be a good player and uh, I know I'm a good player um, so um, yeah, you just need to trust yourself and, and uh, don't be afraid of anything. And uh, I'm not afraid of anything. What sort of player can the Stoke fans expect to see then? First of all, a player who gives everything. Um, of course, uh, I'm on loan, but still, uh, I don't want to let the fans see me as a loan player. Uh, I want to, to do my best and uh, give everything 100%. Uh, that's my main thing. And then. Of course, I have some qualities uh, that I'm, uh, yeah, 
uh, wanting to show them. Uh, so um, that will be um, good to just start now and, and, uh, and play games uh, as fast as possible.